Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We are at the DCD Converge Conference in London and with me I have Graham Evans from Active Power. Graham, you guys, you make the, uh, the spinning UPSs. That's right, yes, flywheel UPSs, kinetic energy. So uh, behind us we have here our powerhouse. So what we found with the flywheel UPS is because of its uh, high density environment, the fact it doesn't need cooling, the fact that it's really suited to a containerized environment, we've put it in a powerhouse to show the guys at DCD, to show the benefits that we can provide from a systems perspective. So what the flywheel UPS does is it takes in electricity while the electricity is running, spins wheels really, really fast, and then if there's a break, it uses that kinetic energy to keep the, uh, the, the system up. Not, not quite. So what the, the flywheel the flywheel itself is spinning all the time as an energy storage device. The UPS system is primarily conditioning the power. So as the power comes through, it's a parallel online system. All of the kilowatts flow through to the load, and our converters regulate that power to make sure you get a UPS-grade output through to your critical load. At the same time, the flywheel is spinning. It's sat there as a kinetic energy store, ready to bridge the gap when it's required to do so. So voltage or mains fails on the input. The flywheel itself uh, changes state instantaneously from a motor to a generator, and we extrapolate that kinetic energy through some converters to support the load, start our diesel engine, and that then becomes the primary power source through to the system. And you've got the diesel engine, in fact, built into the system here. It's, a, it's, on the, it's on the right-hand side as we're looking at it here. Yes. So there, there's a reason that you have the, your own diesel engine kind of fitted into it, isn't there? Uh, yeah, so we're not beholden to one particular diesel engine manufacturer. So what we do as a complete system is design it as a critical power solution. So the, the thought really is from a client point of view, we can be flexible in terms of their requirements. We can size the engine to support the UPS load only, or maybe we can pick up some mechanical loads as well. Um, we make some enhancements to the diesel. So we have our own diesel controller to start the diesel quickly. We have our own product we call GenStart, which allows us to have a UPS-backed starting mechanism to the system so we can use that UPS power to start it. And that, that's important because the flywheels don't stay up as long as, say, a battery bank. Um, it's important because the type of loads that we are supporting need that quick power restoration. So from a UPS point of view, we need to restore or keep power instantaneously. That's the, the job of a UPS, a no-break power supply. But we also find with the mechanical loads, certainly in high-density data centre environments, we need to restore the short-break mechanical loads very quickly. So the system you see here is able to do that. We continually support the UPS load and we can bring on the cooling loads 10 seconds afterwards. So very fast starting, very robust system. And the, the whole flywheel UPS idea is a relatively newcomer to the, to the data centre environment. Not especially. I think it feels like that sometimes. But um, we have been around for 15 years um, as a business. We have 3,000 plus installations worldwide. Um, but uh, certainly we're not as commonplace as some other technologies. But we're probably one of the fastest growing companies globally. So, uh, yeah, not brand new. Um, 15 years in business. But, yeah, the concept's really taken off and has been really successful for us. Cool. Graham, that's been fantastic. Thanks for coming on the show. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>